Gotcha. So one thing that I've been preaching about over and over again is political civility. Um, I'm a nurse. And as a nurse, we've been trained to listen, listen, listen. You listen to both sides of the story. You are compassionate because there's passion on both sides of the story. My answer isn't necessarily the correct one. My decision isn't necessarily the correct one. Um, so you listen, you communicate civilly, and you come up with something that meets in the middle of both. And so I'm hoping that I can bring that as an outsider, having never been exposed to any of this before. Hopefully I can bring maybe a little bit of a different t uh, twist, a little bit of a different ear, and a little bit of a different approach so that we can all work together because in the end we need to. We need to. And it's going to be challenging for both sides of the parties. You know, it, it just is going to be. But at some point, we can't just keep battling and battling and battling. We need to come together to move forward, particularly when we talk about COVID and the long-term outcomes that this is going to have on our community, our businesses, our children, our geriatrics, our, our, you know, the, the geriatric population, on families, on marriages. We need to come together politically as well as for our state as a whole. I was actually uh, negotiating for contracts in my company, and I think that gives me a little bit of advantage to to be able to reach across the aisle and say, "Hey, this is uh, this is what we need. This is not partisan issue. This is, has to be issues for the people of Wisconsin. It's important. You can't let people down. So I think we need to to go across the aisles and figure out what's more in common than our differences." <laughs>